Okay, let's talk about vent alarms and exactly what you have to know for the NCLEX about vent alarms. You are, I can almost 100% guarantee you you're going to get a question on this. Quickly, let's talk about the vent basics. The ventilator is going to deliver oxygen into the patient's lungs under positive pressure, meaning its job is to push oxygen in there and force the lungs to inflate. Okay, that's the opposite of how we naturally breathe. So the ventilator has several different settings and sensors to determine if the patient is receiving that oxygen. Okay, keep in mind, ventilator is pushing oxygen into the lungs. So two different alarms you need to know about for the NCLEX. First of all, is gonna be high pressure alarm. Second of all, low pressure alarm. Okay, so when a high pressure alarm sounds, what's happening is the ventilator is trying to force that oxygen into the lungs and it's not able to get it into the lungs. So some things that are gonna cause that, let's say you have a kinked tube and so oxygen is coming and then it senses that it's not able to get in there okay it's pushing and pushing and pushing but there's too much pressure here so it's not able to deliver that oxygen another one's going to be the patient has a lot of secretions the tube becomes full with the secretions of the patient um, or the patient's lungs uh, you know there's a lot of secretions in the oral airway or in the actual ET tube so it's not able to force that oxygen in there Another one would be the patient biting the tube, okay? Here's the patient's mouth. Um, they may actually bite down on this tube. So as it's trying to force oxygen in there, it can't get it in there, and it's gonna cause that high pressure alarm. Another one's gonna be coughing. When a patient coughs, they're pushing air back out of the lungs um, as they're coughing and expelling that air, and that's gonna cause a high pressure alarm. Let's talk low pressure real quick. So low pressure, the ventilator's trying to push this oxygen in, and it senses that there is no pressure. It doesn't have any um, effort that it's trying to work against. So some things that are going to cause that are going to be primarily disconnection. Okay, disconnection, the patient, um, the, the, the tube becomes disconnected from the ventilator or where the tube goes into the patient's mouth, there's a disconnection. So it's just blowing air straight out, not delivering it to the lungs. Another one would be, hopefully this doesn't happen to you, is extubation. The patient actually reaches up, pulls the tube out of their mouth, and that would cause the low pressure alarm. Okay. So that's really what you need to know about ventilators. Um, so here's our tubing. If this becomes disconnected, definitely going to get that low pressure alarm. If this tubing becomes kinked, you're going to get the, the high pressure alarm. If the patient bites down right here, you're going to get high pressure alarm. Look, the patient's coughing or has a lot of secretions in the tube here, you're going to get high pressure as the, uh, the, in, the intubator or the ventilator is trying to deliver that oxygen. All right, guys, this is John with 2MinuteRN from NRSMG.com. Subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.